Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we'll learn about templates and all of their types and levels in Oracle SOA 12C. So what are templates and why do we need them? Templates are reusable components. The concept of template can help developers to reuse a standardized piece of code as many times as they want definitely saves development time and efforts by increasing the code reusability. So unlike OSP, in SOA, we have three different levels of the template that can be used. And you can use them as it suits your organization. So we have project level template, we have component level template, and custom activity level template. I will explain you about those three templates when we'll do the demo. And when you create a template, by default, the template saves into this particular location, which you can see on your screen right now under Oracle Home, J Developer, Integration, and Templates. So, under this particular directory, your templates will be saved, all three types of templates. However, if you want, you can save them elsewhere also. More often than not, people use it uh, MDS in order to save those templates so that they can be used by all the de developers. Okay, now enough with all the talking and let's do a demo of all three template levels. So in my J developer right now, I have created a SOA application called SOA template demo app. Now we'll create a quick hello program and we'll create a SOA project. So let's do that. Let's call it as SOA template demo and using people i'm going to create a very basic uh, hello program which we have created so many times during the early sessions of on this particular channel so if we have not seen those yet i'll put a link to the complete playlist of soa tutorials i think we have more than 30 videos now so you can benefit from that I'm just going to drag, drop and assign and create hello program. So if you don't know what I'm doing right now and you are in need for me to explain whatever I'm doing, you are not watching the right video right now. You need to watch the first videos that we created. So our project is created. I did not give any name to people process because I didn't want to waste a lot of time because this is not what this video is about. Now we have a project ready. Now if you remember from our previ previous slides, there are three types of templates that you can create in SOA. The first one was the project template. That means I can export the whole project as a template and I can reuse it later on in order to whenever I want to create project which is of this kind, the one that I have just developed, we can simply right click on the project and click on create SOA template. We'll come here, we'll give it a name, SOA template demo. I'm just going to give it a name as hello because this is what this template does, right? It creates a hello program. And as you can see, the default location currently is under the template section. However, you click on this search uh, browse icon and you can save it anywhere you want. I'm going to keep it here only. Next. I want to have all the components, all the artifacts that are there. And here you'll have a list. People, composite.xml, one XSD and one visitor. Then finish. And now how you can use that template. Suppose now I create another project and this time rather than doing all the coding, I will just use the template and everything will be ready for me. So let's try that. I'll create a new project. I'm going to call it SOA template demo 2. And from here, if you see, rather than standard composites, we have an option for SOA template also. 
and here you will see all the templates that is currently present to that particular location here i can click on the soa template demo hello that we just created and i'll simply click on finish and you see a replica of this soa demo 2 has already been created i didn't have to create the people or the xsd or anything of that sort if you will see even the naming convention and everything is sorted so people can use this also to standardize the code to follow the best practices to adhere to the coding compliance of a particular organization so those sort of things can be taken care of using the template so now this is the one kind of template or first level the top level of the template creation now if we go on the second level which is a component level template if you have been watching our videos you know that there are different components that you can see here people human task mediator and all these six types of components that we have you can create a template based on that component also for example i want to create a template of this people process one which simply takes an input and assigns uh, to the output while concatenating hello to the string and in order to do that i'll simply right click on this and create component template once i do that i'll need to pro give a name of that particular template i will give people process hello templates because this is this is what this people process does and next and finish so our template was successfully created so now as the template has been created now let's see how you can use that in your project let's create a project so a project i'm going to call it as soa template demo 3 and i will create it as a blank composite because i want to use that people template that i have created i'll click on finish now here i don't have any component inside this i'll come here insert and you see this option component template i can click here and this is the template that we saved people process one underscore hello i can simply click on ok these are the components that will come along with this and we can click on finish and if you see under this demo 3 now we have all the code handy so now you can realize that this is just a demo just one assign there could be a chance that your organization is using a pattern of the code and in that situation this using these templates can definitely come in handy and save a lot of development effort and time now the third level of soa template which is the custom activity level template and that one is my favorite too because i have been using that uh, in some of the projects that i work on so let me show you how that works so any scope that you can create all the activities within that scope can be created as a template or can be exported as a template let me show you how the most common scenario or the one that i have used in some of the projects that i work on is the error handling so if i click on catch all now i have this catch uh, all block now let me fetch a scope I'll drag and drop the scope activity here. Let's give it a name as scope template. Now you can standardize your error handling of all the composites. For example, all I want to do is I just want to reply the fault. That's a very basic scenario is what i'm explaining right now
so get fault as string I'm using this operation and that's what I want to do uh, as part of my error handling let me change the sequence name also now the in in your organization it could be different there may be a chance you might be creating a, a service now ticket whenever something fails you might be sending an email to to your client or to your production support team all that logic can be exported as a template all you need to do is put that every put everything in a scope and right click on it and create custom activity template let me do that click on next 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 and finish so so our template was successfully created i'll click on okay now let's apply the template to one of the other projects that we have created now in this i'll create a catch-all and I'll insert into this a custom activity template. So now scope template underscore hello is the one that we created. Now here, reason being because we have been working, uh, we created template demo two using the template, first template, then demo three using the second template. So all the artifacts are already present in these. So you might see some error that these artifacts are already present but if we we'll click on next it will it will skip those artifacts which are already present and it will work but in in your real time projects that scenario will not happen right so now i'll click on this and as you see under soa schema it already will have this people process one because this is what we created as part of the first template demo so don't get confused uh, with these things we we'll click on next as you can see there are some conflicts in the template because it is already there. So it is going to skip all the artifacts that we exported. You can also uncheck it when you export it, but it does not matter. If you click on next, it will simply skip those things. And if we finish and you will see that this is what we created. Even the name of the sequence, the name of the scope, everything will be copied over. And you see the fault uh, as string is what we assigned. So that's how you can save a lot of your time, a lot of your effort being a developer if you use SOA templates. And there is nothing more to it. There are no other uh, types or levels of templates. So we have covered a complete SOA template uh, tutorial in this particular session. However, if we talk about OSB, Oracle Service Bus 12C, we only have one type of template that is pipeline template. So probably in the next video, I'll talk about that template also so that you guys will not need to worry about template in SOA or OSB. So thank you so much for your time. You take good care of yourselves and you have a nice rest of the day. Bye bye.